Good morning everyone and thanks for hanging out with me. This is the Hyundai Nexo hydrogen car and today I'm going to do a range test with it and it's going to be a bit of a different range test than with the I don't know, 50, 60 range tests I did before with electric cars because this needs hydrogen that with a fuel cell then produces electricity and it has a tiny battery, 1.56 kilowatt hours, but this is for region and for extra power. Um, but the main propulsion comes from the fuel cell. So I have to fuel up um, hydrogen and there is a hydrogen uh, gas station uh, in Passau here but it's not directly on the highway so I have to fuel up and then go to the highway, I don't know, five kilometers or so. It's cold, minus four degrees, but very sunny and it's gonna get warmer later. I have no idea what the range will be. I never driven a hydrogen car before. Um, so far the trip, it tells me, so a, a country and city, 1.3 kilograms per 100 kilometers. And it has a 6.33 kilogram tank of hydrogen. Um, uh, um, and motor is 120 kilowatt, 163 horsepower. It's pretty slow, 9.2 seconds from 0 to 100 kilometers an hour, but it's very comfy and I want to see how it is to fuel up. I never fueled up, we're going to go there now, fuel up a bit and uh, then do the range test. So I fueled up and I'm at 100%. It was 4.28 kilograms, that's 40 euros and 66 cent and I have 547 kilometers of range, but that's with my last trip. I'm gonna reset that now. Where are we? Drive info, I oh, will do that anyways. But we're gonna reset the accumulated info also. So everything is reset. Yeah, it says after recharging. That's stupid, of course. <laughs> I didn't charge. Let's go on the highway. I am on my way. I'm driving, oh well, 134 is the cruise control. That's 130 GPS speed. And down there on the left, you can see the battery, uh, the hydrogen tank and my range. But here in the middle is a more accurate 98%. Here's my heat setting. It's on, it was on auto before. I thought it was on auto. Um, 22 and a half degrees. Right now I have the seat heater on and the steering wheel heater, but I can turn the steering wheel heater off and seat heater on too. I'm gonna go in the direction to Munich because I know till Munich there's no speed limit and no construction or anything. I can go to 130 the whole time. That's just cool. Consumption right now is high. Two kilograms because it's uphill. And that's the wrong button. There we have it. That's my trip so far. It's one minute less, I would say, because it didn't start right away. Uh, let's go. Yeah, I just switched the highway and I'm at 90%. Cost is still 495 kilometers. I doubt that's true, but I drove 530 kilometers. My average is 1.6 kilograms per 100 kilometer. It's pretty good. <laughs> it's really good. I mean, there was um, five kilometers um, to the highway where I didn't drive the 130. So yeah, that's true. It will go down with that. But still, 10%, 54 kilometers, wow. The car uh, itself drives really nice. The, the self-steering is great. It, it, it doesn't interfere too much. Uh, the steering is not that amazing, but it doesn't bug me. So it takes a long time when you're not steering against it till it beeps, that's cool. Um, 
it's very comfy it's a very very soft ride uh, i would say very close to the ionic 5. ionic 5 might be a tiny bit softer um, but it feels good driving it's perfect weather it's two degrees now after heat now on 22 degrees I'm at 80%, cost says 437 kilometers. Uh, now in the range uh, it's a bit less because it's 96 kilometers that I drove. So that would be, oh my God, 480 kilometers of range, which is still amazing. But I really think the first few kilometers, but we'll see on the way back, maybe it, it, the consumption is way less on the way back. There was a corner on the other side. Um, and by the way, I'm driving in eco mode. I haven't said that before. Eco mode. And I wanted to show you this gigantic middle console. Look at it. I just counted. It's 42 buttons. So up there is the infotainment system. Then the instrument cluster. Here's the gear selection, parking brake, auto hold. And this is to interact with the menus because this is like, a, like an iDrive in the BMW. You can turn, go up and down, press it and all the stuff and then you have home and back and all of this stuff. I'm at 50%, still 261 kilometers of range. I drove almost 235 kilometers, which would mean 470 kilometers of range. Average consumption is still 1.6. This didn't change since forever. I'm driving two hours, that means my average speed is 117. That's not very good. And I'm in a construction zone right now. Uh, at, with 80 but because, uh, except for this I could drive to 130 most of the time but of course I started at the uh, fuel station and not on the highways and uh, so the first five kilometers were very low average speed around 60 the line in the middle is gone okay yeah we go on it's a nice ride, nice temperature. It was eight degrees in between, now it's five. But I think the eight uh, was because the sun was, was hitting the area of the temperature, um, where it measures the temperature somewhere. It's, but after heat at 22 degrees and auto, it works nice. And uh, the, 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 the live stream just had a thought because this temperature here is the fuel cell. The fuel cell has around 50 degrees. Maybe the fuel cell with the, uh, the heat loss is heating up the cabin. I don't know. Would make sense because I noticed that when I'm driving uh, that the heat, if I turn it up or turn it down, doesn't have a lot of impact uh, uh, on the range. I don't know. If it does, it would make sense and more range, awesome. I sped up to 140 because my average speed is so low. I'm at 31%, still 147 kilometers of range. I drove 314 kilometers. Consumption is still 1.6, doesn't change. Um, I'm changing highway soon. And then we are on the last stretch. It's how long is it? 50 kilometers to the gas station. I almost said Georgia. 
I arrived with 20%, 80 kilometers of range. I drove 363.4 kilometers. I will look at Google Maps what it really is. Still 1.6 kilograms per 100 kilometers. We drove three hours and four minutes. That was a good run. Um, uh, I will put all the data in here on the side. I have to go a bit more here. So you see the car, me and the data. So the temperature was between minus three in the beginning and then it was seven degrees at some point, even eight degrees. Um, it's 19 inch tires, 255, 45s um, on all wheels, winter tires. And I had the heat on 21 and a half to 22 and a half. And I will put the range and everything in here and also what Google Maps says that the kilometers would be because the car maybe shows a wrong trip and everything. But it was a good run. Um, yes, the car is already dirty. <laughs> That's okay. It was a long trip, but not just for today. Um, it got brought to me um, with driving, so it wasn't on a, on a trailer or anything. But it was okay. Thank you much for watching. Have a great day and take care. Bye.